Jessica Smith is standing by for us with the latest on a potential new stimulus deal uh, that could be coming out of Washington. What is it, Jessica? Yeah, Adam, lots of moving parts here in Washington this morning. We were expecting Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to lay out the Republican plan today, but that might not happen yet. Sec Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows were back on the Hill today. They said they had a fundamental agreement with Senate Republicans, but they're still working on some of the details in text. But here's what we've learned so far about this GOP proposal from Treasury Secretary Mnuchin's comments to reporters and an interview this morning. He says, first, the payroll tax cut is not going to be in the base bill. It's not going to be in the GOP proposal. The president has really wanted that, but it was not popular on the Hill. Um, he also said that the enhanced unemployment benefit would be renewed at 70% of wage replacement. He said $105 billion will go towards school reopening. Um, it should be 70% for K through 12, excuse me, 70 billion for K through 12, and then 30 billion for colleges and universities. Um, he says there's also going to be another round of stimulus checks in the GOP plan. We still don't know how much or who would qualify for those checks. Um, and he also says he wants to allow businesses to get a second PPP loan if they've had a 50% revenue loss. Now he says that the administration wants to get all of this done at once, but if necessary, they could break it off into pieces, dealing with UI and school funding first. But Speaker Pelosi is talking to reporters right now, and she just shot that idea down saying that they don't want to do this piece by piece. They want to do this all at once. And this is all negotiations among the Republican Party. They still have to negotiate with Democrats. So it looks like we're a ways off from this final package.